In this short video tutorial, I'm going to go through how you set up and read a tidal curve. We find our tidal curves printed in our almanac, and they're useful for working out the height of tide at any given time of day. I've extracted this tidal curve for the fictitious port of Victoria from the RYA training almanac for the purpose of this presentation. So in order to fill in this tidal curve, I'm going to need some tidal information. This is a high water curve, so it is based around the time of high water. So I'm going to need to find that piece of information along with the height of high water and the height of low water. So I've extracted the 28th and I've taken the tide details for this day. So we can see the first high water is 0.235 at 4.7 metres, followed by low water at 0.901 at 0.4 metres, the following high 15.15 at 5.3 metres, and the second low of the day 21.32 at 1.3 metres. I'm going to be travelling between the hours of 9 and 1500 on the 28th, therefore those are the two tides I'm going to use. Once you have this information, you're ready to plot your tidal curve. So to start with, on the bottom of my tidal curve, we can see a box labelled HW, standing for high water. So in there, I simply put my high water time, 1515. We can then see the scale counting both back and forward in one hour increments. So I can fill that in as follows. Firstly backwards, 14, 15, 13, 15, 12, 15, and so on. And then forwards, 16, 15, 17, 15, 18, 15, and so on. I then need to plot my high water height on the top scale labelled HW heights. So I find 5.3 metres on this scale and put a little mark. Similarly, I now need to plot my low water height on the bottom low water height scale. So again, finding the 0.4 and putting a small mark there. I'm now able to join these two points up with a diagonal line like so. And that is my tidal curve set up for that time period. I'm now able to use it in two ways. I can either find the height of tide at any given time or if I'm trying to navigate somewhere where I have a tidal restriction and I need a certain amount of water to get over say a bar I'm able to use this tidal curve slightly in reverse and work out at what time I'm going to have a certain amount of water. So let's say I need to find out what the height of tide is at midday. So you can see I've gone to the 12.15 box. I need slightly earlier than that, and those small lines in between those hours are in 10 minute increments. So I've come back 15 minutes to get to midday, and I've drawn a line straight up to my curve. You'll note at this point, there are two different lines creating the curve, both the dotted line and the full red line. And we can see from the mean ranges box in the top right hand corner, depending on if my tide of the day is a spring or a neap will depend on which line I need to use. I can work that out by simply taking my low water height from my high water height. So in this example, 5.3 meters minus 0.4 meters gives me 4.9. And looking at that mean ranges box tells me that it springs and therefore I need to use the solid red line. I can then take a line from the curve across to my diagonal line like so and then read up or down the scales are the same in order to work out what height of water I will have at midday. In this example the answer 2.9 meters. And you can see if I needed 2.9 metres to say get over a bar, I could find that on the top or bottom scale and create those lines in reverse, going down to that diagonal line, across to the curve and then down to the time. 